here's how I turned myself into this rabbit, and you might have seen the video, that was one of the shorts that I created a while back. So what you want to do first is you want to go and brush out your eyebrows. Whenever you do makeup like this, you want to go and brush them out, glue them down, and then you're going to go and cosmetize over them. To glue down my eyebrows, I'm using just this glue stick that you would typically use for any arts and crafts that you're doing. And normally what I like to do is I like to get my eyebrows nice and bushy, go and try to get them up as much as I possibly can, and this is just going to make it look like they're a lot flatter. I do look kind of angry until these are dried, but now what you do is you brush over some cosmetic that would be the same skin tone as yours, just to go and slightly cosmetize them. My eyebrows are pretty dark in certain areas, so it does take a couple of times to go and brush over this. So after I have this first layer down, I'm going back over everything with some translucent setting powder, and this is going to just go and cosmetize over this a bit more and hide some of the extra color there. Now that they're pretty well cosmetized over, I can easily conceal these the rest of the way with the other makeup that I'm going to be using. Now for the base, I am using water activated makeup. I am using makeup that is from the Mehron brand, and this is from the Paradise palette sets that they have, along with also two, you can go and buy some of the different separate ones. I do put this down in a couple of different layers. I used just about three, so after every layer dried, I put on another one, and I made sure to go and conceal over my eyelids, along with also my eyebrows a bit more. After this first initial layer was done, I went and sketched out everything with some of the gray that I have, and I went and drew where I wanted to put pretty much where the eyes were going to go, along with also the mouth area of the rabbit. Now, it's extremely important to have these guidelines, especially when you're using a lighter type cosmetic starting off as the base, just because the more color that you do put over this, the more likely you are for all these colors to get blended together. Now at the edges, what I'm doing is I'm just blending this slightly into the white cosmetic that I put down, and this is going to just make it look like there's some fur, along with also give it some shadow. I'm going slightly over where my eyebrows are, drawing the eyes at just the corner of mine, putting down some shadow where the mouth is going to be, along with also the chin of the rabbit. Then I'm just going to continue to go and add down some of these darker areas that I will cosmetize over slightly more with some lighter along with darker cosmetic feathering all of these out, and just starting to blend all of the color. It's extremely important to have a reference of a rabbit up. A realistic photo or a drawing of a rabbit is definitely best to go and reference. Now at the corner of my eyes, I'm starting to put down some black cosmetic. This is going to be where I am putting the eye down. I am putting this down relatively messy just to kind of go and create the shape of where I want this to be and leave some extra space for myself to go and put other color over this and make it look more realistic. Now I'm going to go and add a small amount of brown into this, and this is going to make it look like the eyes are very realistic, along with also add a small area of where light would go and hit this, so just slightly above my upper eyelid. I realized that following the natural shape of my face for this and putting the eyes towards the edge of my face really made this makeup look pretty real, along with also a little bit spooky, and from a distance, I really do look like a rabbit. It's kind of terrifying, but it's also extremely cool. Now I'm just adding some areas to the upper portion of where my eyelid is, along with also the lower portion, just to go and add some more light in there as to where it would hit naturally for a rabbit. At the edges, I'm going to be adding just a small amount of white as well too to make it look kind of fluffy. Now I'm putting down some spirit gum to go and glue down the ears that I made. I just used a little bit of paper, and I went and painted on it with some of the cosmetic that I had to go and match everything. After the spirit gum was activated, I went and I stuck down the ears. Now I made sure that they were kind of towards the center of where my head was, almost like how a rabbit would be anyway in a photo. I didn't want to put it too far on the edges because I felt it took away from a lot of things. Now what I'm doing is I'm going and outlining some of my face, and I'm doing this to go and conceal some of the extra portion of where I did not want to go and put this makeup. I feel like this really does help to make it look like this is just so much more realistic, especially because I was recording this on a background that is darker. This also does help too if you do want to do similar makeup to this, if you're going to be putting on some sort of hood or maybe a hoodie, it does help to really conceal your face and from a distance, you will look very much so like a rabbit. It is quite spooky. Now I'm just going to continue to refine some of the different shapes. I'm making sure to make my chin look nice and rounded at the bottom so it looks like I have some chubby rabbit cheeks, along with also two at the top here. I'm making it look a bit more angular. Usually a rabbit is pretty angular with their head. 
For this bottom portion here, I'm putting some pink into where the normal area of a rabbit's lips would be, along with also too adding some of this pink for where the nose would be. If you do have a reference up, you can kind of just tell where a lot of this color would be normally on a rabbit's face and where a lot less of the fur would be. I'm just blending over this with a small amount of white now. And I'm going and putting some more white at the edges too, along with feathering it out to just have this area a bit more darker than others. Putting down some more gray and continuing to add these little tiny fine lines to go and add some color into where the rabbit's fur would be, along with also put some at the edges. Now I'm outlining my lips. I'm going with the natural shape of my lips, along with putting a little tiny separation down the middle, putting some shadow under my nose and going back to the eye area and I'm just following along the lines that I made previously to go and put this little bit of separation here. And now I'm just blending some of where the fur would be usually on the upper portion of the rabbit's face. Now I'm adding in some of the finer detail like eyelashes on the eyes, along with also two some thinner lines to just make it look like this fur is so much fluffier. And as I'm doing this, I'm trying to go and overlap some of the different areas to make it look like this is nice and fluffy. I'm going back to the upper portion of my head, adding some more gray in here, and also some gray into the nose area. And this is really going to make it look like there's a lot more fur going on. I'm also adding some more darker color into this area of my face too. At the bottom, I am going back in with some white and I'm making it look like the chin is nice and fluffy. And I'm also adding some more fluff to the outer edges. Now I'm just adding in the last few final touches, so some shadow, along with also just adding some darker black lines into this, and it's only a couple of little tiny areas that I'm doing this, like on the mouth area of the rabbit, along with also extending this out slightly. Now I'm going to the upper portion of my lips, I'm adding some little dots, and this is where you would have whiskers coming out for a rabbit. At the edge of where my eyes are, I am going to add just a small amount of highlight, and I'm doing this with a very thin brush. I'm making sure to get both sides. After all of the makeup dried, I went and used some setting spray. This kept it on my skin for just about two and a half hours with no smudging. And I absolutely love how this turned out. It is so incredibly spooky from a distance. It looks exactly like a rabbit. It is really real and I just love how it turned out. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I have more tutorials along with also makeup on my profile.